Hi, I'm your video. We just want to say good morning and welcome to New Beginnings Church. Amen. Of the big band here in Monta, yes. Texas. We join you. The family here joins, uh, welcomes you. So praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome, bienvenidos a todos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, church, all we got to do is just get ourselves ready to receive. Amen. God Amen. has a wonderful message for us. Yes, sir. And uh, we're going to go into Waiting on God, part two. Amen. Amen. So, wait upon the Lord, y'all. Renew that strength. Amen. Amen. Before Amen. Uh, we get too much into it, we just want to make sure that we are ready. Amen. Because He wants to bless you, encourage you, and convict you. Yes. Amen. He wants Amen. to change you. He wants us to change from glory to glory. He wants us to change. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. want us to be decided. Amen. That's right. So grab your sword, grab your Bible. You soldier of God. Amen. Amen. Here's mine. Where's yours? And this is my Bible. I am what it says I have. I am what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be talking to God. I've only confessed my mind to work and my spirit to accept it. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. You know, I think we have a little handout out there somewhere that I gave to you. You know, sometimes uh, your body is telling you you don't feel so well. <laughs> We just tell it to line up with the word yes. of God. The Bible says, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Amen. Amen. So I kept it to prayers. Amen. Thank My body's Lord. telling me something else. But I'm telling it, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. That's it. So we be healed by Amen. Be healed. I receive my healing. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. He is wonderful. Wonderful. Always. Yes. You know, his word is wonderful. Yes, it is. <laughs> Wonderful is our God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And greatly to be praised. Yes. So he wants us to come, receive, and be changed. Yes. We don't want to leave the same way. Amen. That's right. You know, when you take your car to uh, the car wash, <laughs> before you get it in there, it is dirty. Yeah. Or even before you go wash your car, it is plenty uh -huh. dirty. Yes. But when you finish with it, it's not the same. That's right. It's changed. So you know what? We're going to give ourselves a spiritual bath with the Word of God. He's going to clean us, and He's going to send us out. Amen? Amen. Praise God. And that's what we got to do on a daily basis before we get before Him, you know? Amen. It's just renew yourself, you know? Give yourself a spiritual bath, and then renew yourself knowing that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen? Amen. Amen. So praise God. I'm going to go. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We on the Lord part two. See yourself. We've already go to that first uh, there you go. Isaiah our text. Isaiah 40, 31. But they that wait upon the Lord, what? Shall, shall renew their strength. strength. They shall mount up with uh, wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Amen. So, in this case, see yourself as an eagle. What do eagles do? They soar. They yes. go up. They go up, not down. Amen. Amen. And don't see yourself as a chicken. Chicken stays on the ground. Yeah. You can do a lot of scratching. <laughs> <laughs> you can scratch your head, but you can soar like an eagle. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's okay. Praise God. Praise but they, us, put yourself there, scratch, scratch yes. a, the, they. Uh -huh. Just scratch that and just put your name there. Yes. Amen. Jose. Amen. Yes. You Amen. feel, you know, get your Bible, get the Word of God. Write on it, highlight it, and just change it and personalize it for yourself. Amen. They that wait upon the oh, Lord, Lord shall renew their strength. Yes. He wants us to do something first. Yes, He does. He wants us to wait. Yes. <laughs> Some of us need to oh, practice yes. on this. <laughs> we don't want to get way ahead of Him. And, uh, <laughs> uh, we, he don't want us to do that. So you be careful. Yeah. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yes. What you do when you get your strength? Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. They shall mount up as wings as eagles. Amen. Uh -huh. Because we're going to find out, and this is part two, of course, eagles rise up above the storm. Yes, they do. All of the birds go down and yes. find shelter. Eagles rise up above the storm. Yes, they do. Amen. And guess what? Storms of life come. Yes, they do. <laughs> I don't know if you have any, but uh, oh. <laughs> we have a few. <laughs> and they, you know, you've got to rise up above. Amen. As a child of God, as the eagle, mm -hmm. you got to rise above these things. Yes. Now is the time to run. Now is the time to walk. Now is the time to pick up the pace and move yeah. on and press on and move forward. Amen? Amen. Um, don't allow the history to define your destiny uh -huh. or your past. Don't allow what's behind you sabotage what's before you. Stay focused. Stay hungry for more of Him. 
Go to the next slide, please. No, as a matter of fact, you know what? Show me slide 14. Mm. Go to all the way to slide 14. Oh, boy. There you go. We got to practice this. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting on him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait training. There we go. Don't judge me by my past. And we've talked about this before. Oh. Don't judge me by my past. You know why? Uh -huh. And you can write this down so you can tell some of your friends or some of the people that use this against you. Yeah. Don't judge me by my past. You know why? Because I don't live there anymore. Mm -hmm. But they keep bringing it up. And sometimes uh, family members, they're always telling you, you know, you're always like this. You always used to be this way. You're still this way. And they don't see the change in you. Hmm. They still see the little snotty-nosed kid. Uh -huh. Amen. But listen, don't judge me by my past. I don't live there anymore. I've changed addresses. That's not me anymore. Remember, you had a spiritual birth. Yes. You've been yes. born again. If you didn't like the way you was born, <laughs> get born, <laughs> get born again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Get born again. Get it. Get delivered. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Quit saying, "Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like that." You know, I don't like the way I was born. Well, oh. get born again, and everything will be yeah. right. Amen. Yes. Because you yes. focus on Him. Yes. You know what? He didn't create junk. That's right. Amen. You're special. Yes. See yourself special. We've been talking about this. We got to change the way we talk. Uh huh. Because we keep putting ourselves down. And you can have what you say. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the next slide, 15. Here's why you don't let the past pull you back. Uh-huh. Bless you. There's no there's no future in what? In your past. In your past. <laughs> Follow God's calling. He's got a calling for you. He's got a mission for you. And he's qualified you. He's yes. giving you everything to succeed. So why are we still in the past? Uh -huh. We got to see ourselves in the future. We got to see ourselves with him. Amen. We got to see ourselves the way he sees us. Don't see yourself less than what God is see, sees you. Amen. Amen. See yourself with his eyes. You know, not only that, but when you see people put your Jesus glasses on, like I say, love, compassion, and see what Jesus see in them. The same Jesus that died for you, died for them. So you don't see their faults, you don't see their past, you don't see the hurt or whatever uh, is holding them back. You see Jesus, and you see a soul. You know, you don't see color, you don't see size, you see a soul that needs Jesus. Yeah. A soul that needs Jesus. Salvation. Amen. That's what we're called to deliver his message. So they need salvation. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Stay focused. Now, go back to number two hmm. or three. Excuse me, three. He wants us to press towards the goal. Forget about the past. The next one, please. Amen. Well, he's, well, this is what he's going to do for us. He's going to give us, he's going to lift us up as he goes. Next one. This is what he wants us to do. He wants us to press on. Wait. But now, he wants us to press on. Forgetting what? Things which are behind and stretching forward. Uh -huh. Stretching forward to the things which are before. I press towards the goal for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 13 and 14. Yes. Amen. So he wants us to press on. Uh -huh. It's not time to just hold back and let the future hold you back. Uh -huh. It's time to press on. You know, you might know of somebody, they're still way back, got hurt uh -huh. 20 years ago and they're still back there. Uh -huh. It's time to yes. let it go and it's time to press on. Let it go, Phil. Let it go, let it go, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yes, press on now with the things of God. Uh -huh. So get ready to run, get ready to walk, and get ready to press on with him. Amen. Amen. We can't forget about that. <laughs> Let's read our text again. It says, Isaiah 40, 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and, and not, not faint. faint. Amen. That's you right. cannot do this on your own. You cannot do this on your own. You need him. Remember Amen. we fight and fight. We fight a battle. Yes. But it's not just a battle. It's a spiritual, spiritual battle. battle. So, therefore, we need to be in the spirit. We need to be in the word. We've talked about this before. Feed your spirit the word of God. Renew your mind with the word of God. 
and crucify your flesh. And where does he attack the most? The enemy attacks the mind. The mind. The battlefield of the mind. You're always thinking these things. Well, you know, good and bad. Still, you need to renew your mind to the things of God. Because Amen. if you don't, you're going to fall back into the world. Amen? Amen. And you don't want to do that. Ooh, you cannot do this on your own. you got to wait on Him to make you strong. He gives you the strength and the ability to rise up yes. as eagles. Amen? Above your uh, cares, above your circumstances, above your problems. Yeah. Amen? Above the storms of life. Amen. You're going to rise up above them, you know, because you see yourself, who you are in Christ. And I'm going to use Him. I'm going to use His Word mm -hmm. and put myself where He wants me to be. Amen? Mm -hmm. Above the circumstances, yes. above the problems. Amen? Amen. No weapon, and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That's right. Amen? When you wait on Him, you will soar with ease. You know, if you're still in the flesh, you're no match to the enemy. Mm -hmm. Because the enemy is the spirit. God's the spirit, but the, so is the enemy. Yeah. And if you, if you, you fight a spiritual battle, mm -hmm. that's in the spirit. Mm -hmm. That's in the word. You got to be in the word. And if you're still in the flesh, you don't match to the enemy. That's right. Praise God. You cannot do this on your own. You got to get in here. Get in the word. Stay full. You're fighting a spiritual battle. With him, we win. Without him, we lose. Amen. So we got to submit, commit. Be patient and we have to wait. Mm -hmm. Uncommitted Christian, <laughs> or say impatient Christian, yeah. or say part time Christian, yeah. is no match to a full time devil. Mm -hmm. He yeah. is persistent. Yes, he Amen? is. And he is full time. Mm -hmm. So let's not just try to be on a full time basis, I mean a part time basis. That's right. We got to be full time. Amen. We got to be serious all the time. Amen? Yes. We got to let go of whatever's. Yeah. Holding you back, and yeah. you gotta let God. Mm -hmm. With Him, all things are possible. Yes. But we have to wait on Him because Amen. He tells us to wait on Him. Amen. Let go of whatever makes you stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all our circumstances are different, but still, it's the same enemy. Mm -hmm. Still, it's the same God. Amen. But you wanna stop. What make whatever makes you stop? Whatever wants to make you quit. Whatever wants to make you quit, I mean, give up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's in the mind. If you're not renewing your mind, mm -hmm. you're going to be thinking negative. Yes. Amen. Remember, life and death are in the power of the yeah. time. Amen. This is what the Bible, the Word of God tells us. Yeah. So you have to build yourself up in the Word and be careful. <laughs> I'm getting way ahead of myself. That's all right. <laughs> be careful what comes out of your mouth. Mm. Amen. Put a guard on your mouth. Mm -hmm. Remember last week we talked about putting a zip, zip the lip, put a zipper there. <laughs> and don't let it out. Mm. The guard means it ain't coming out. Yeah. Especially if it's negative. Yeah. Especially if it's going to hurt you. Amen. You might think you're hurting somebody else, mm -hmm. but it's going to hurt you mm -hmm. because it's going to grow in you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So let go of whatever makes you want to stop, quit, or give up. Let go of whatever wants to to give you I can't do attitude. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moses got in front of God and says, I, God says, go and do this. Get before Pharaoh and say this. He says, I can't do that. I said, I can't talk. <laughs> you know, God has called us to do some things and we're saying, I'm not good enough. Uh -huh. If God's got you here, you're already good enough. Yeah. He just wants you to get right with him. He wants you to get in the word so you can see yourself the way he sees you. Yeah. He sees the champion in you. He sees the winner in you. Amen. He sees the eagle to rise up above all these problems. But you still scratching with the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to give that up and say, hey, be the champion. I put you there to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can't do it attitude. Mm. We need a can-do attitude. Amen. Yes. Especially Amen. when you spend time with him. Build yourself up. <laughs> and you be like little David. Mm -hmm. Say, where's that giant? Mm -hmm. Come here. <laughs> I'll go out. <laughs> I'm a mighty warrior of God <laughs> going somewhere to happen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't care what giants get in front of me. Mm -hmm. And believe me, they, they're going to be there. They're going to be there. They're going to be there. But guess what? Greater is he that's in me than he yes. that's in the, in the world. Amen. Greater is he that's back in me yeah. than whatever big giant is in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So praise Amen. God. We got to get that can-do attitude. Yes. 
He told Jonah, go to Nineveh and go preach over there. I want, you, uh -huh. I want to deliver uh -huh. these people. Yeah. <laughs> Jonah goes the other way. And you know what? When he was, when he was fired out, he says, you know why you guys are having problems? He uh -huh. says, because I'm in the boat. Because I'm here. <laughs> he says, just throw me over. <laughs> just throw me on. Oh, you know, throw me over and, and, and you promise to be solved. So they did. Guess what? They did. <laughs> <laughs> They threw him over. But guess what? God had a plan yes, still. Yes, he did. He had a fish. And Jonah ended up in the belly of the fish. Mm -hmm. And he was there for a few days. Yeah. Until God told the fish, you know, uh -huh. go spit him out in Nineveh where I told him to go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, you know, mm. God knows. Amen. <laughs> Some of us are not good at waiting. Mm -hmm. Or with patience. Oh boy. We start pacing. We're a little impatient, short tempered, <laughs> panicky, panic, having uh, anxiety and panic attacks, lose uh -huh. control of our words and our actions. Mm. We got to stay in control. Yes. Amen. We have to stay in control. That's the way he wants us. Yes. Of course, Proverbs 18, uh, 21, I, I read to you a few minutes ago. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who uh -huh. love it will eat its fruit. Yes, yeah. And James 3 and 8. But no one has been able to tame the tongue. Mm -hmm. It is an evil and uncontrollable, full of yes. daily poison. We've yes. got to control the tongue. we got to put a guard to it and yeah. put a zip to it. Amen. Amen. I, as bad as you want to say it, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised how many times Jesus wanted to say something. He, he would have violated uh, mm -hmm. everything he, he came for. Yeah. And he just didn't say something. Mm -hmm. So if Jesus can hold his tongue, <laughs> so can we. Yes, amen. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, he knows. Yes. Give no place to the devil. He yeah. wants to, John 10, 10 says, he wants to steal, kill, and destroy you. He wants to rule you. He wants to devour you. He wants to drive you. Yeah. You know, you get more right and you'll just you take, over. take over. He'll drive you for sure. Yeah. Amen. He'll be your steering wheel. <laughs> take you forever. You know what they say about sin? Sin will cost you more than you want to. How's that go? Sin will cost you more than you want to pay. Keep you longer keep than you, long 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 you want to stay. And, Started like that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> keep, you, keep you longer than you want Yeah. Magnify your God and not your problem. Mm -hmm. Feed your spirit the word. Renew your mind with the word of God. And crucify your flesh. Mm -hmm. This is what we need to do, child of God. Keep you in Amen. This is what we want to do. We want to magnify our God more. You know, when you get full of God, when you get full of his word and you stay full, you're going to magnify him and not the problem. Mm -hmm. Instead of focusing on the problem and focusing on the storms of life or focusing on the giant problems, mm -hmm. you're going to magnify your God and say, hey, wait a minute, this is no match to my God. Mm -hmm. Greater is he that's in me. Yes. And then you just got to release it. Yeah. You know, you got the word in you. You got to follow the word. It ain't going to do you no good just being in you. You got to release it. Yeah. You have to go and do what it's got to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody need healing. Somebody need a, a blessing. Mm -hmm. You just... Release it. Amen. Mm -hmm. So waiting on God requires faith, patience, energy, and effort. Yes. Some biblical uh, examples of waiting on God. I'm going to give you some last time. I'll give you a few. Abraham and Sarah. <laughs> God oh. promised them a son, Isaac. <laughs> mm. And when he came and told them, you know, they're going to have a son, I said, wait a minute. <laughs> are, you uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm past the time. You know, I'm 100. She's what? <laughs> 99. Too old. <laughs> Too old. What are you talking about? Why'd you wait this long? Ouch. <laughs> but if God said it, it's going to happen. Yeah. Right? Amen. Yeah. So guess what? Oh, gosh. And then they try to help him out. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> that don't help. You know what? <laughs> his plan, his mm -hmm. ways is better than anything we can come up with. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So anyway, they tried, but it didn't work. Mm -mm. That's where the enemy comes. Amen. Problem started. Problem started right there, mm -hmm. you know. But they had a son. Mm -hmm. How about Noah? The flood. There's a side in the waters. Mm -hmm. He had to wait. Build, build, build the boat. Build mm -hmm. the ark. Yeah. Waiting on the rain. And then waiting on the waters to go down. How long did it take? Oh, it a long matter. time. But you have to wait. Mm 
He says, wait, 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 wait. I don't like waiting. Well, <laughs> wait, you know, we talked about this last week, you know, everything, we want everything so fast and instant right like now, you know, fast foods, we want them now. Fast monies, you know, we want them now, you know. So we try to put God in that same category. Okay, God, I just told you what I need, so let's do it. <laughs> Emergency. <laughs> Help me. How about Joseph? Joseph, hey, <sighs> waiting for his time in power. But during this time before he got into power, he had to put up and wait on his uh, jealous uh, brothers. Mm. His, he, you know, his brothers were jealous of him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, <laughs> the leaders, some people, some jealous brothers and people that was in his life. But guess what? At mm -hmm. the end, he had the power. Mm -hmm. He came to power. Amen. He waited. He waited. And he was good at waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, for the time to be fulfilled, you know, he waited. And there was times when he felt weak. Mm. But he went to the Father and said, I need your strength mm -hmm. to continue this. So if he needed strength, I guess, guess what? <laughs> he waited. Yeah. We need we need that strength also. Yes. Lord, I need your strength, you know. You don't know these people I have to be around. You don't know what <laughs> what problems are come are facing me. Mm -hmm. He knows. Yeah. But you go to him, amen. Mm -hmm. And get the strength. Wait, he'll give you the strength that you need. Amen. Whoo, hallelujah. Amen. I'm talking amen. to somebody now. Come on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he fulfilled what he what, what he was called to do. Mm -hmm. You know how many times he felt like quitting or giving up? Mm -hmm. Probably crossed his mind. He's human. Yeah. But you know, when he went in to the fire and just waited before him and said, yes. I need your strength, you know. I don't know if I can do this. He says, Why don't you take this cup away from me? Mm. Take this away from me. You want to quit. You want to mm -hmm. stop. So how about us? <laughs> we feel the same way. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. You know, mm. be strong in Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be Amen. strong in Him. That's the yes. only way it's going to keep you going. Amen. 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 Praise God. Those good friends that God has put, those people, supportive people He's put around you, those are good friends. Yes. Mary and Martha <laughs> waited for Jesus to arrive when Nazareth died. Oh, yeah. Jesus finally. Jesus knew. And Jesus yes, knew. He did. And He could have been there. Right then. Yeah. But he waited. That's right. They want to make sure he is dead. Okay. <laughs> he, he smells. <laughs> I mean, that is dead. Okay. So, <laughs> he says, you know, hey, we're glad you're here, but uh, he's gone. Yeah. He's, he stinks. You know, mm -hmm. He's dead. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, well, just step aside. Yeah. Step aside, boy. Step <laughs> aside. Step aside. <laughs> Oh, he, called, he, he called Lazarus and guess what? Mm -hmm. Lazarus yes, came. Yes, he did. Lazarus came. But they waited. Mm -hmm. But it was a good wait. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Those that waited upon the Lord shall be in their strength. Yes, amen. <laughs> Another uh, time here was the disciples waiting for the promise of the Holy Spirit. He says, Go and wait mm -hmm. in the upper room. <laughs> you know? I don't know if you read or you heard, but uh, there was more than just 120. Yeah. Uh, there was quite a few there mm -hmm. that just walked away and says, you know what? I can't wait any longer. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put up with this. Mm -hmm. They passed up. They passed it up, you know, because they couldn't wait any longer. Mm -hmm. You be careful who you surround yourself with because yeah. they may not want you to wait. That's right. Hey, we got better things to do. Yeah. You know, your flesh is screaming and saying, yeah. we could do something better. Uh -huh. You know? That's why it's so good to stay uh, filled, feel your spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Renew your mind because mm -hmm. the flesh is always screaming for yeah. better things. Yes. So called, but it's not. Yeah. That's so be right. careful. Amen. <laughs> but they waited for the Holy Spirit, and guess what? Did they get the Holy Spirit? Yes. Yes. They yes. got the Holy Spirit. Yes. God. And here we come. We're waiting on His return. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, we all last week. Even in prayer and uh, Bible study, we talked about this. Hmm. We talked. We talked about uh, his return. Hmm. You know, he's coming back. Hmm. Well, you know, we prepare for the storms, hurricanes. We prepare for the flu season. Mm -hmm. But you hear about Jesus is coming. Mm -hmm. 
So what? You know, I parked that forever, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in that. He ain't coming. Mm -hmm. But we prepare for other things. Yes. But we don't prepare for Come his, on, his return. Mm -hmm. Come on, we got to be serious. Yes. He is coming back. Yes, he is. Amen. You don't want to be like the five brides that uh, weren't prepared. Mm -hmm. Five were, five were not. Mm -hmm. So we want to be ready. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Be ready for him. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting. We just got to wait patiently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In each case, they love God. Mm hmm we know his word, we know his promises, yeah. and we gotta rest in him. Yes. We gotta wait in him, amen. Rely yes. upon his love, his care, his protection. Amen. In each case, it was worth the wait. Yes. For those who wait upon the Lord, they will renew yeah. their strength. Yes. Their inward strength. In uh, Isaiah 40 to 31, A, first mm -hmm. part of it says, for they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Renew their strength. He's not talking about just physical strength here. Right. He's talking about inward strength yes, amen. Amen. because in that time during Isaiah time they were captives and they needed the inward strength just yeah. to give them the power amen Amen. when you sit in there you know I tell you uh, uh, Paul and Silas were in there singing praises unto God mm -hmm. <laughs> they weren't just waiting for mm -hmm. something sad they were creating something mm -hmm. and they were doing something they were singing unto him mm -hmm. they were waiting on the Lord and guess what <laughs> Lord showed up yes, because he, he hurt them. Amen. Yes. And he showed up on time. Yes, he did. And he set them free. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're waiting for, he's there. Yes. But don't give up. It's time to press on. Amen. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. Number two is the energy and effort required to wait upon the Lord. Waiting on God is not just sitting and doing nothing. That's well, right. You know, hey, I'm saved, so I'm just going to kick back uh -huh. and do nothing, you know. <laughs> you got to stay out there. Yes. You got to stay right. busy for him. Amen. You know, not just sit back and do nothing. Stay in touch. Stay in tune with God. Yes. You know, Christianity is staying in, in, stay in tune with Him. Have a relationship with Him. Know your God. How are you going to know Him if you don't spend time with Him? That's right. Amen. Join hmm. in Him in every care, concern, and decision. Amen. Stay in tune with Him. You know, everything nowadays is uh, electronic. Mm -hmm. And all these things need to be tuned up once in a while. So we got to stay in tune. we got to stay in tune with Him. How do we stay in tune with Him? Mm -hmm. Stay in touch with Him. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Relationship. It's called relationship. you got to have a relationship to know Him. Stay in tune with Him. Not just once in a while, you know, like the spare, tr spare tire treatment, you know. Mm -hmm. Once in a while, we use them in case of emergencies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll call uh, Burton uh, Ryan. <laughs> 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 Try Him. Trust Him to hear our requests. Taking steps as He directs us. Mm -hmm. one, step at, one, one step at a time, one, one, one day at a time. Amen? One day at a time. You don't have to worry about way ahead, you know, or forget or the past, you know. You say one day at a time. He's there for you. Mm -hmm. One day at a time. Amen? He wants to direct you. Whew. Turning the, um, the outcome over to Him. Make sure make yourself available to him. This is big right here. Mm -hmm. Is making yourself available to him. Are you making yourself available to him? Mm -hmm. A lot of times we just close ourselves. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we're not there. When he's calling, are you there? Are you answering his call? Mm -hmm. You know, when he calls you, say, Oh no, it's God again. He'll hang up. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna answer that. He's calling. Some of us, you know, uh, <laughs> some of us have been called to do Maybe be up here and preach the word. Mm -hmm. But we're still doing something else. Mm -hmm. And not answering God's call. Mm -hmm. right. Or whatever he's called you to do. Mm -hmm. You know about it. Because it's going to be in you the whole time. Yes. You know, his gifts are irrevocable. Yes. That's right. Okay, whatever he's called you to That's do. Right. Whatever the gifts he's, he's given you. He's not going to take back. That's right. So one day you'll have to stand before uh -huh. him and say, you know, he's going to ask you, why did you not use what I gave you? Mm -hmm. Why did you not answer the call I gave you? Mm -hmm. You have to answer to him. Maybe you don't want to do it here in this world, but one day you're going to stand before him and you're going to have to answer that. Mm -hmm. Why did you not do what I, what I sent you to do, what I called you to do, what I gifted you to do? Mm -hmm. So, best to be obedient right now Amen. and do it. You know, yes. if, he put you, if he gave it to you, you're not going to have any problems doing it. That's right. But you got to set yourself. And commit yourself to doing it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Hmm. 
So stay in touch, stay in tune with God, mm -hmm. have a relationship, make yourself available. Yes. We unqualify ourselves. Mm -hmm. He's qualified you. Know that, that you are special and make yourself available to him. You know, he didn't call perfect people. That's right. Amen. He just wants you to be available. Amen. If you read your Bible, all the characters, all the heroes that you read yeah. about, none of them is perfect. They That's all right. had sin problems. Amen. So still, he's called you. So Amen. you have to make yourself available. His plan, his answer is better than anything Amen. or anyone else can manufacture. Mm -hmm. Whatever he's got for you is better than whatever you can come up with. Amen. Amen. And you Praise can be, God. you can have a career, you can have a job, mm -hmm. and you can struggle for it with it, and maybe not even love it. That's right. But if you do what he's called you to do, mm -hmm. you're going to enjoy it, and you're yeah. going to love it. Amen. Amen. You, can, you can ask uh, some of these missionaries overseas that can do without and still loving it and doing it for years. Mm -hmm. Because God has called them to do yes. those things. Amen. Amen. But some of us are called to be here and do what he's called us to do. And mm -hmm. still we can't allow ourselves or make ourselves mm -hmm. available. That's right. Amen. He's not looking for ability. He's looking for availability. Right. That's right. Make yourself Thank available you to him. You know, I don't care what shortcomings you got. Just confess it to him. Give it to him and say, you know, hey, I've sinned against you. I repent. We're good. Now, get busy. Yeah. When are you going to fulfill what I've told yeah. you to do? That's right. Amen. God. I want to ask for somebody. That's good. <laughs> we kind of went over this last week, but I'll repeat it. There's a song we sing here, and I love it. He says he's the God on the mountain. Mm -hmm. The God on the mountain is still the God in the valley. Yes. When things go wrong, he'll make them right. Mm -hmm. He's the God of good times and God of bad times. Yes. He's the God of day and he's God of the night. Yes. Amen. 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 He's God and He changes not. He's, we got to stand firm on Him. Yes. Be rooted and grounded in Him. Amen. Amen. He's the same God. Yes. He yes. said He never leaves you, nor forsake you. That's right. We may walk away from Him, but mm -hmm. He doesn't. That's he's right. always there for us. Amen. Amen. So He's the same God. Yes, he changes yes. not. That's so right. we need to be, we got to copy Him. We imitators yes. imitate Him. Yes. And be more like Him. Amen. Amen. He's our true hero. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Amen. Woo. Praise That's God. the God we serve. Amen. <laughs> As Christians, God wants us to rely on Him. Mm -hmm. He's our source. I tell you, these all this equipment here wouldn't work if they weren't plugged to the source. And we're not going to work as well if we're not connected to the source. He says He is the vine. Mm -hmm. We are the branches. The branches. Amen. Uh -huh. We're not going to grow if we're not connected to the That's vine. Right. Amen. So, hallelujah, these instruments, all these things that we use, this equipment wouldn't work if it wasn't connected to the source. He right. is our main source. He is our source. And we got to stay hooked up with Him. Yes. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, stay hooked up to Him. Amen. And as we look to Him, mm -hmm. will give us the strength to continue. Mm -hmm. And we are tempted to give in, but don't give in. That's right. There are times when we want to throw in the towel and quit. Mm -hmm. Yet... When we look to our God, we ask Him to renew our strength. When we wait on Him, yes. He'll give us the strength to continue. Amen. Amen. We Thank need to renew Lord. that strength that we have. Praise Amen. God. Thank so you praise Lord. God. Amen. <laughs> Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. Amen. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Yes. So why we use the eagle? Because He says the eagles rise up above the mm -hmm. storms. Amen. And the storms of life will come. Yes, they will. So, we are to rise up above the mm -hmm. storms of life. Amen. Amen. He'll give us that strength to do that. Yes, He will. Praise God. Praise God. Encouraging results. Waiting upon God. Number one, renew our strength. Spiritually, emotionally, physically. Number two is mount up with wings as eagles. Eagles use, of course, the same thing. Uh, the wind to allow them to soar higher. Never allow them to be dragged down. We must learn to do and let... Excuse me. We must uh, learn and not let anyone mm -hmm. drag you down. Instead, soar high like the eagle yes. over all circumstances Amen. and concerns. Run the race of life. Yes. And not get weary. Facing Amen. 
the race in God's strength and not your own. Anything you face on a daily basis after you spend time with him, we talked about, you face it in his strength. Yes. When the enemy sees you, <laughs> he don't, he thinks about attacking because he sees the Jesus in you. Mm -hmm. He sees that mighty warrior in you. Mm -hmm. He sees the God that you spend time with. Right. He says, I, he think twice before attacking you. Mm -hmm. Walk and not faint. But if we wait upon the Lord, we will be lifted higher over the storms of life. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see slide number nine, please. Have faith and strength to endure all of Satan's attacks. Yes. Amen. Here we go. When a storm is coming, all of the birds seek the shelter. The eagle alone avoids the storm by flying above it. So in the storms of life, many of your hearts soar like an eagle. Mm. Awesome. Beautiful bird. Yes, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So put on the full, full armor of God. Amen. These darts are coming at you. But you've got the whole full armor of God on. When we read upon the Lord, He will lift us up higher and higher. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I want to have a few stories here for you in a few minutes. As we continue our relationship with our God, stay hungry for more of Him. Mm -hmm. His word, the truth, will set you free. Yes, it And will. we can fly and soar high mm -hmm. away or high with Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Fulfill. All God has called us to do. Don't be like the eagle in the chicken coop. Of course, I haven't. We talked about this thing. I'm gonna. I have another oh, eagle gosh. story for you today. Oh, <laughs> Don't be like the eagle in the chicken coop with his buddies. Mm -hmm. Be like the eagle, the king of birds that soars high with God. Amen. Upward, above worries about temptations, about the storms of life. Mm. Amen. Praise God. I've got a couple of stories I want to read with you. Uh, go back to, let me see, number five. A couple of slides I want to show you. Next one. It's time to decide the chicken or the eagle. Mm. The choice is yours. Mm. So, here we go. <laughs> I read you one last week. I'm going to read you a different one this week. The eagle and the chicken. A farmer was walking through the forest one day when he found a young eagle. It was hurt, so he saved it. And he put this eagle, he brought this eagle home and he put it in chicken poop, coop, <laughs> where it soon learned to eat and behave like the chickens. <laughs> the king of birds mm -hmm. is in the chicken coop now and is eating chicken feed and <laughs> behaving like the chickens. A forest ranger passed by one day, by the farm one day, and asked the farmer, why is the king of birds living in a chicken coop with chickens? Mm. The farmer replied, since he is giving it a home in a chicken coop and fed it chicken feed, it acts like the chicken mm. he's living with. The ranger lifted the bird towards the sky and says, you belong in the sky mm -hmm. and not the earth. Mm. Stretch your wings and fly. The eagle, confused, he did not know where he was. And seeing his friends, the chickens, walking by and eating their food, he jumped down by them again. Mm. So, be careful who you hang out with. Mm -hmm. The wrong crowd will eat you wrong. Yes. And you won't know your gift or who you are in Christ or what he's called you to be. Mm. Amen. And you could be this way for the rest of your life. Or you can just answer your call and know your God and have a relationship with Him so that you can know. Uh, uh, number eight. There you go. <laughs> There's a big difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Next one. Okay. That's good. We're not finished. The ranger took the eagle once again to the house, the roof of the house, and urged him to fly away, saying, You're an eagle, stretch your wings and fly. The eagle, afraid of unknown self and a new world, and jumped down once more, flapped his wings just for a short ways, just enough to get back to the chicken coop for the chicken food, 
and to be with his buddies. You know, when you've been delivered and you don't feed yourself in the word of God, mm -hmm. you'll go right back to your buddies. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be careful. Yes. The ranger took the eagle to the high mountain. Mm. And he holds the king of birds high above him and encouraged him, saying, You're an eagle. You belong in the sky, stretch your wings and fly. You know, God is going to put some friends around you. A true friend is going to be there. You may not ever hear from them, but they're praying for you. You may not ever hear from them, but they're wanting the best for you. Amen. And when you're hurt or when you need something, they're there for you. Yes. And they don't take from you, but they'll give to you. Mm -hmm. That's a true friend. Yeah. Amen. And that's kind of, that's going to encourage you and build you up when you're down. Mm -hmm. Amen. The eagle looked around again. And he looked back. Let me see slide 11. The eagle looked around, looked back, the way they came from, the chicken coop. And then look up to the sky. Hmm. Anybody remember this? Hmm. No looking back. Yeah. Look forward. Remember Lot's wife? Hmm. God says, I'm going to wipe out Sodom and Gomorrah. I want you to leave, but I don't want you to look back. Hmm. Right. And this is what he wants us to do with our past. Yes. Hey, you come out have some great memories. There's nothing wrong with good memories. Mm -hmm. But he says, no looking back. Mm -hmm. Don't let the, the the past hold you back. That's it. Amen. He said, "Don't look back. I want you to look up." Mm -hmm. And this is what the eagle says. He looked around mm -hmm. and he looked back. You know, when you've been delivered, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's time to press forward. Mm -hmm. Because if you look back, you know there's something there for you. Mm -hmm. The enemy makes sure mm -hmm. that something is going to be there for yeah. you, and it's going to hold you back. Whatever that holding back is, you got to let go. Sometimes. Yes. Family, sometimes friends, sometimes whatever. Mm -hmm. Our situations are different, but you have to let it go. You know, God's got new doors to open yes. for you. He got new ways, new, 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 uh, new, new steps, new ways for you. But you got to keep forward, going forward. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't go backwards. You got to go That's forward. Right. You know, uh, we've said it this many times, but when you put on the whole armor of God, mm -hmm. all the protections up front. Yeah. There's no protection for the back. That's right. You don't expect a child of God to coward and run back. Mm. Because there no there's back. no protection mm -hmm. in the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have to be careful. We gotta we're gonna press forward. Amen. We're gonna press forward, amen. Yes. So praise God. So the eagle looked around still and looked back. Then he looked up at the sky. The giant eagle stretched his wings mm -hmm. with a Triumphant cry soared away into the heavens. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> yes. You know, when we've been delivered and we know who we are in Christ mm -hmm. and we know that greater is he that is in us. Yes. We're going to shout for glory. Amen. And say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you that I'm mm -hmm. delivered. I know whose I am. I know mm -hmm. who's backing me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to press on. Amen. I'm going to press on with him, you know. And you can do all things through Christ. Yes. You know? There's no looking back. And you're going to be the proud warrior, the proud champion, the proud winner he's made yes. you to be. Amen. Hey, I can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. And the enemy's going to know that too. Mm -hmm. So you know that enemy that had you on the run, now you can put him on the run. Yes. <laughs> Amen. But you got to use that authority he's given you. Amen. Mm -hmm. No hanging out in the wrong places. That's right. No hanging out with the wrong people, mm -hmm. wrong crowds. Don't let the past anyone or anything hold you back. Mm -hmm. Amen? And then we can take heart. I mean, all of us can take heart on this because mm -hmm. we've all been attacked in different ways. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is, you know, just know that you give it to Him mm -hmm. and He'll take it. But you got to let it go. Yes. Amen? You got to let it go. Amen. You got to rise above mm -hmm. the worldliness, the worries, the temptations, the trials, the storms. Yeah. Like God, the ranger, wants you to be what he's made you to be. Yeah. Imitate Jesus only. Be the original he made you to be. Yes. Not a copy. That's right. Amen. Don't copy a, a world, man, friends, or anyone. Yeah. God called you and equipped you, qualified you, and approved you. God's approval means everything. Yes. If he's approved you, 
Don't wait for the world. That's right. Don't yeah. wait for your friends' approval. Mm -hmm. You know, you've already been approved. Mm -hmm. That settles it. Whether, it, you know, <coughs> because of jealousy and because they don't like what you're doing, mm -hmm. because they don't want to do it, you'll never meet up to their standards. Mm -hmm. They'll rise the bar higher and mm -hmm. higher all the time. Yes. So we're not man pleasers, we're God pleasers. Amen. Amen. Be a God pleaser. And be the winner, be the champion he's calling you to be. You're not a loser anymore. Don't see yourself that way. Amen. You're victorious in him. You're an overcomer. And the Bible says that you are more than a conqueror. Yes. Amen. You're a child of God now. Amen. So see yourself as a child of God. That's what he called us. When you was born again, now you're a child of God. Don't go around calling yourself a sinner. Because mm -hmm. you're not a sinner. Mm -hmm. If you have Jesus, you accepted Jesus in your heart. You accept him as the Lord and Savior. Don't yes. go around calling yourself a That's sinner. That's right. You're not a sinner anymore. You're a child of God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I've got another quick story for you. Then we're we'll close. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> My grandfather, take it up hike with his uh, six-year-old grandson. The child's running up ahead of him to a creek. Afraid he's going to fall in, the grandfather says, child, wait for me. I'll get you across. Surprisingly, <laughs> the child obeys, and when the grandfather gets there and lifts him over his shoulders, put him on his shoulders, and waded across the creek, you know, the grandchild says this. He says, you know what, Grandpa? I wouldn't have made it without you. Hmm. I would have never made it across. How true of us. Let us wait on God. And he'll get us across any obstacle, any situation yes. that's in our way. Amen. Whatever problems, whatever circumstances, whatever situations in your way, knowing that you're waiting on him, he'll get you across. Yes, he Amen. He's already, he's already paid the price. Mm -hmm. And he, he's fulfilled all this. So he'll get you across any situation in life. Amen. He's given us all the spiritual weapons we need. We all, yes. He's provided it for us. And we need to use those spiritual weapons. Yeah. He says in Isaiah 54, 17, No weapon formed against no you weapon. shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. He is with you. He's not Amen. against you. Right. Amen. Yeah. If God is for you, who can be against you? Mm -hmm. So the world may be coming. But mm -hmm. guess what? <laughs> I'm free. Mm -hmm. I'm just like this eagle. Soaring above the storms of life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise God. I hope you uh, got something. See yourself as an eagle that soars and not a chicken that's scratching. Amen. Amen. Those of you that are watching or hearing by audio or video, I just want you to know if you haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, now's the time. Amen. He's waiting on you. Amen. Amen. So just confess your sins, repent, and confess them. And just say, Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And you start making changes. Yes. Start finding you a Bible-based church where you can go and hook up with. Amen. Start reading the Word of God. Amen. And start growing in the things of God. So Amen. praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. God. If you need a healing, just touch that part of your body. It needs to be touched. It needs to be healed. And say, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. I receive yes. my healing right now. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yes. The Bible says, lay hands on the sick and it shall recover. Yes. So I'm laying hands through this. In Jesus' name. When you're Amen. healed. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. In Lord. Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody Praise here God. Needs a touch? Needs to be healed?